Alright folks, today we're making the one and only smoked pizza dip, so stay tuned. It's time to grill. We're gonna get this video started with my one and only baking form. What would I've done without that one? I used it in so many videos over the past years. And so today. Start with two packages of cream cheese. We are using cream cheese with herbs today, but feel free to use the cream cheese without the herbs. It might lead to a slightly different result, but it would work anyway. Just take a normal spoon and spread it into your baking form and this should be the first layer. You might have the feeling later on that you want to recreate this dish at home, so make sure that you check out the video description if you need a list for ingredients and measurements. We have everything in there. The next layer is a layer of seasoning. I decided to go for an SPG, salt, pepper and garlic. There are several versions available. Find your perfect or mix your own. This might work too. After the seasoning, the third layer is pasta sauce. And now feel free to use your favorite pasta sauces. There are many uh, versions available. You can get those with fresh basil. You can get these with uh, ground meat inside or the Al Arabiata version with some hot spices and chili in there. Feel free to use your favorite. Finally, you will need a layer of cheese or two or three depending on the amount of cheeses and the number of different cheeses you want to use. We are going for cheddar cheese, mozzarella cheese and gouda. But I could also imagine using a Gruyere or Swiss mountain cheese which will add to a slightly different flavor too. So many versions possible. Finally I covered this one with an Italian herb mixture. Due to the fact that we are saying this is a pizza dip, you could also add your favorite pizza toppings. I'm going for onions and, guess what, pineapple. I'm one of the guys who likes pineapple on pizza. Judge me, but I love it. So only one half here, the other half stays clear. I have already preheated my GMG pellet grill for 140 degrees Celsius, which is approximately 270 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're gonna smoke the pizza dip for around about 35 minutes. In the meantime, enough time to take a Scottsburg pan, heat up some olive oil and roast some fresh baguette until they are golden brown and crispy. This really makes a huge difference if you want to dip it into your pizza dip just compared to the version without the roasting and the olive oil. Great flavor, great stuff. So after 35 minutes the pizza dip has a great smoke flavor and looks like this. It reminds me of the smoked queso viral trend two years ago, but I love it. Now take your bread and dip it into your pizza. Play with the bread, use ciabatta, focaccia and you will have a great party food for your family and your friends. I promise that everyone will love this one. And of course, as always, I'm gonna give this a shot right now. Please don't forget to hit that like button. And leave me a comment. What would be your topping? Are you for salami, olives, pepperoni? What is your favorite one? Or are you also going for pineapple? Can't wait to hear your thoughts about that. I'm gonna add one more video which is related to this topic to the end card. So make sure to check this out too. I love it. Delicious stuff. And my kids loved it too. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching, I'm out, see you!